I've travelled to London today to meet up with Darren Arcanjo, and he's the exhibition manager for the Subcon show, which is happening next month. So Darren, tell me about the history of the Subcon show. Well, Subcon's been running for 30 years, um, started off in the automotive industry, um, and predominantly uh, is seen as a metal bashing show. Um, my company, uh, Centor Media, took on Subcon about 15 editions ago, um, and has since then diversified the show um, into various areas um, in terms of uh, metal, uh, fabrications, uh, in plastics, uh, test, measurement, inspection, um, software, uh, electronics, um, and so on. Um, and it's now uh, a show that has got smaller over the years, uh, but has turned a point where it's now grown 20% each year. Um, and specifically over the last five years, it's in fact twice as big as it was five years ago. I was at the Subcom 2013 show. Very busy, very buoyant. Good. What's going to be good about 2014? What's the highlights? Uh, 2014, uh, we've already got the feedback from those people who are looking to come and visit. Um, we've got, uh, I think we're up by about 14% on visitor stats from last year. So we're looking to have a busier show. Um, we've got the engineer uh, conference returning, which was a hugely successful sh uh, uh, conference. Um, huge speak good speakers from Rolls-Royce, headline speaker. Um, we've got the Bloodhound car being ex uh, at the exhibition. Uh, we've got uh, the new zone, which is the electronic subcontract, well, subcontract electronic zone, uh, which is uh, providing a platform for our electronics exhibitors that have exhibited with us for the last five years um, and done quite well. So we've decided to provide a, 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 an opportunity or a platform um, for them, which um, we believe will they'll benefit benefit from. So, how many exhibitors will be there? Uh, we will have over three hundred uh, exhibitors uh, exhibiting um, from various backgrounds uh, and profiles, uh, providing um, different services and products this year. Uh, they will be uh, exhibiting to an audience of over four thousand. So, if I was an exhibitor, what could I expect? I mean, exhibitions are great, exhibiting is great, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, you want to sell your services. Yep. Are people going to buy? Well, Subcon uh, is the only show dedicated to uh, subcontracting in the UK. Um, and our focus is on buyers and sourcing teams um, from OEMs downwards. Um, now, we have uh, an audience which has a purchasing authority of 1.9 billion. That's an open checkbook of 1.9 billion in uh, combined. Um, and they come and to the show to buy and source. Um, and that's, that's our aim. So how many visitors will actually be at the show? Uh, we're expecting 4,000 uh, visitors. 84% um, of those will be the key decision makers from various companies such as Jaguar Land Rover, Rolls-Royce, BA Systems, Dyson, JCB, Caterpillar, and so on. And a, a big audience of ours at MTD is the subcontract market, mm. as, you, as you know. Mm. If I was a subcontract engineer, we talk about the subcontractors that, that may be exhibiting, but what as a subcontractor about visiting the show, what can he expect to see and benefit from? Uh, you visit the show because you want to meet some of the best, in fact the best subcontract um, manufacturing companies in the UK um, and internationally. 70% uh, of our audience are UK companies, 30% uh, are international companies. Um, they provide services um, from fabrications to um, plastic mouldings, electronics, um, uh, test and expect in inspection uh, companies as well. Um, they will also bring the latest innovations and technologies to the show, so there'll be a, a learning aspect to that as well. So it sounds like there's a very broad offering at the show. Yeah, we provide uh, services and products to our visitors who come from various sectors, uh, from aerospace, automotive, defence, oil and gas, uh, medical and so on. Um, and in truth, it's the only show dedicated to uh, subcontract sub manufacturing. Um, it's kind.
And we had a conversation outside of this room about mm. the exhibition experience. Mm. And I was interested to hear your, your opinion on, on yep. the exhibition experience. If you could just explain that again, that would be good. Um, well, I think exhibitions have uh, evolved over the last few years. Um, I think firstly, you do an exhibition because you want to meet people face to face. As a, a company owner or, or, or a, a sales manager for a company, people want to see you see at face value. Um, I think it gives you an opportunity to meet uh, a number of people um, in a short period of time. They, these are people who are coming to meet you um, rather than you chase them. Um, and it also, you know, the experience now is is more complete than it was a few years ago. We have um, online opportunities, so you have your company listings on the website, um, your company overview, um, you are in a show guide, so the work that's done before the show um, as is as important as doing the three days exhibiting um, and, and thereafter as well. Um, so, you know, the, the, there's also online activities such as LinkedIn and Twitter and the conversations and the chatter that goes on between the exhibitors and visitors um, is as important as, as being at the show itself. So most importantly, when is the show and where is the show? The show is the 3rd to the 5th of June in Birmingham NEC. It's an annual show, so it happens every year around June. Um, and we're looking to have the best show that we've had, uh, building on the sex of success of last year in 2013 uh, uh, ever. Darren, thanks for your time. Thank you. So I've been hearing a lot, Andy, about the engineer conference at the Subcon show next month. Yeah. You head up the team. Can you tell us a little bit about what we can expect to see? Yeah, well, we, we ran the engineer conference the first time last year on two days. It was a great success. So we now extended it to three days, and we built on the things that people said they really liked to, to bring more of that into it. Uh, and the, the top line of what it's all about, essentially, it's the hot topics, hot issues, big ideas. So we've got really top-level keynote speakers from companies like Siemens, Rolls-Royce, Pratt & Whitney, HS2 Railink. Uh, then on top of that, we've got another layer, which is we're calling show and tell sessions, where we're focusing on some of the most exciting and innovative in stories in engineering today. So we've got, for example, uh, we've got the story of how Airbus are putting a, a rover on Mars. We've got Abby Hutty, who was last year's IET Young Women Engineer, Young Women Engineer of the Year, talking about how that's coming together. Uh, we've got a guy called John Lawson talking about recreating Bugatti's only aeroplane, which was built in the 1930s, never flew. It's beautiful. It's an iconic Art Deco plane, bright blue, twin propellers, great. And he's talking about how they, re they remade it. Um, We've also got um, a guy from BAE Systems talking about how they applied high technology to sporting excellence, so how they use wind tunnels to hone wheelchairs and train like taekwondo experts. So it, it's, it's, a really, it's, a, it's a really good entertaining experience as well as an inspiring and, of course, an educational experience. And is there a schedule? Can you see this on, on the internet? Or do you, if I mean, you, there's a lot going on. How, how can you plan your, your day to make sure you get the best out of it? Well, if you register for the Subcon Exhibition as part of your registration process, you are taken to a page where you can see the full programme and you can see which sessions you want to go to and you can pick them there. And it's free to attend and we look forward to seeing you there. And remind us of the dates? It's from the 3rd to the 5th of June at the NEC in Birmingham. Thanks, Andy. Thank you.